Hi, welcome to Revival Cycles Tech Talk. I'm Stefan, and in this episode, we are talking about the Moto Gadget M button. Uh, the M button is this little device right here. It's got all these wires that come out of it, and it is basically filled up with magic and witchcraft that is able to convert the signals from your handlebar switches to a digital protocol and communicate with the M unit. Now, if you're not familiar with the M unit, we've done a couple of videos that explain what it is and how it works and how to install one. You might wanna take a look at those uh, so that you understand the rest of what we're talking about. Now, what this does is connect to a set of handlebar switches. In this case, we've got the M switch mini and we'll use those for demonstration purposes and converts all the inputs from this switch into one wire communication to the M unit. This has a bunch of um, kind of a, a cheat sheet or a, a master key that explains all the different wire colors and what they do. So we've got a left turn, a right turn, a headlight starter button, a horn, a brake switch, and then a ground, and then the configuration that goes to the M unit itself. So this really is a pretty impressive little package and the idea behind this is that you can wire everything up to this and stuff it all inside your handlebars and then there's just a single wire that comes out of the bars and goes to the M unit. So why don't we go ahead and actually assemble this thing and I'll show you how it works. First I want to connect the long green wire to the config input and you'll notice that we've kind of skipped a couple steps as far as powering the M unit. That's really basic and it's been covered in a couple other videos Basically, you want to have power run into the positive side, ground to the ground side, and that's that. Um, now we've got the config of the M button connected to the M unit, and we're going to start connecting the rest of these wires to our handlebar switches. Now the first thing I'm going to do is actually connect the grounds, and in this case you'll notice I've got the red and the black coming out of the M switch mini, and that's because there is an independent um, circuit for those switches and if you want to have all three buttons reference ground you need to connect the black and the red uh, again that was covered in another video that you can reference about m buttons or sorry about m switches so we've got the grounds connected now i'm going to connect the white wire from the m button and the white is the uh, right hand turn signal and we'll connect that to our m switch mini I'm doing a very half-assed job of these connections, just kind of twisting the wires together. Again, this is demonstration purposes only. When you're wiring a bike, do it better than this, please. Um, next, we'll connect the blue wire, and the blue wire is the starter button. Just kind of twisting these together like a total hack. And finally, we'll connect the red wire, and the red wire is the horn button. So, got all those connected. Now I do need to bring the ground connection that we made back to the battery and I'm just going to use this little jumper that I've got sitting here from the M unit and then double check that all of these guys are still connected. Had one come undone. Again, this is why you don't do it this way when you're actually wearing a bike. All right. And nothing's touching one another, so it should be okay. All right, now we can turn on the M unit. I'm just gonna jumper 12 volts to the lock input, and there we've got it. All right, so now the system is all wired up, albeit completely half-assed, but we can at least demonstrate how this works. So we've got the first button, push that, and that's our start input, you can see with even just one wire, nothing connected to the start input. The start input lights up, the start output lights up, works perfectly. Uh, next, we've got the horn button. When you push the horn button, horn button input lights up and the output lights up just like it's supposed to. And the last one is gonna be that right-hand turn signal. And as you can see, the turn signal is flashing and if I wanted to cancel it, I just hit that button again and the input lights up and it turns off the turn signal, no problem. Now there's a couple of things to note about the M button. Um, partly due to its package size being very small in order to fit in the handlebars with the rest of the wires and everything else, it is not quite as robust as some of the other products from Moto Gadget. It's not as resistant to, you know, kind of connecting it backwards or giving it reverse polarity or having excessive voltage, other things like that. 
It's not that it's fragile, it's just that it's not as bulletproof as some of the other stuff. So you do need to be a little bit careful when you hook these up. Um, the other thing to note is because it's using a digital protocol, it is susceptible to EMI interference. You need to make sure you route your communication wire away from the high tension stuff of your ignition system. That's the spark plug wires, the spark plugs themselves, uh, any CDI boxes, things like that. Move it as far away from that as possible. And also, if you do have issues with that, you can make sure you've got suppressor spark plug wires. Those are the spiral round core wires that reduce EMI interference. Also, resistor caps and resistor plugs also drop down that EMI interference and shouldn't have any problems with the M button. And if all of that still doesn't work, you can add some uh, shielding to the wiring. And that's basically where you've got um, kind of a metallic braid that goes around the wire and that's grounded to the frame. And that way any EMI weird stray signals are gonna get soaked up by that kind of shield wire and brought back to ground. Uh, we've only seen one case where EMI interference was a possible problem. And even that was suspect. Um, it's not that big of an issue. It's just something to be aware of. You don't want to run this stuff right next to your high tension on the ignition system. And that's really all there is to say with the, uh, with the Moto Gadget M button. It's a really impressive piece of kit and it does simplify wiring from the handlebars to the M unit. And I still can't really get my head wrapped around how this thing actually works and is so small, but I just assume it's packed up, like I said witchcraft and magic. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions on your installation, give us a call, send us an email. We're always here to help and we can't wait to see your project on the road. Thanks.